Hey YouTube, Xfile2708 here. Welcome to um, another video in the series of what am I currently playing. Um, I'm going to try and keep that fairly brief and uh, I'd like to give a, uh, a channel update uh, towards the end of the video as well. So, first of all guys, this is the um, the third in the series of what, what I am playing. So, the last one I uh, I did was mid last month, so I figured it was a good uh, good opportunity to, uh, to do an updated video for you. Um, Last month, guys, you'll uh, if you saw the video, you'll notice that I was, um, I think, about 55-60% through Red Dead Redemption. Um, I've now completed the uh, the single player uh, career or story mode, whatever you want to call it, um, of Red Dead. So that took me about 80% complete, something like that. So there's another 20% something like that for um, side missions, etc., which I'm not going to bother with because I've got a lot of... Um, PS3 games that I've brought, which uh, which I'm looking to play through uh, as much as possible. So I'll re revisit, um, you know, the the side missions of of Red Dead later on down the line. But for for this month, guys, I'm now into this as promised. It is Heavy Rain for the PS3. What an absolutely superb game. Um, I knew roughly what to expect anyway, guys. Um, I did download the demo before um, you know, the full game was released um, and thoroughly enjoyed the, um, you know, the, the way the story worked, the, the way you controlled your characters, etc. Um, very, um, very unique style, uh, but it does work really well. Um, I think you control four or five characters um, throughout the same, you know, throughout the same story, um, you know, you do, do do a mission or two um, based on one character, and then the story moves over to another character that's working in a different way, you know, towards uh, finding out who the origami killer is, etc. And it, it does, it works really, really well. Um, I've probably put put about eight eight hours, something like that, into the game. So I'm not, um, you know, massively far into it at the moment. Uh, but from what I've played so far, it, it's absolutely superb. So if anybody's umming and ahhing, uh, you know, whether to pick it up or not, big thumbs up from me, guys. Uh, absolutely loving it at the moment. And, uh, you know, that's one that I'm playing through and will continue to play through to completion. So that's that one, guys. The next two games are Mega Drive games. Uh, now I can't remember if I showed both of these last month or just one of them and I've moved on to the other one since but two games that I am playing on the Mega Drive and basically what I'm doing when I was at um, Dave uh, aka Junior D 1975's last week we sat and watched The King of Kong so it's the first time I've watched the DVD. Absolutely superb. Really, really interesting to watch. Um, and it got me started thinking, you know, I'd like to go through and set myself some high scores within my games. Um, and then when I sit down to play through games, I'll concentrate that little bit harder, knowing what score I've got to beat. And, you know, there's a nice bit of a of a challenge element with, uh, with beating your score, etc. So what I've done, guys, I've created a section on my blog site. So I'll put the link below um, called High Score Challenges. It's not really for people to challenge me but you know if you're interested to see what my current high score is on a particular game then by all means check it out but uh, what I'll be doing as and when I get uh, play play games in challenge mode if you like um, where you know I'm aiming to set a high my high score then I will put the um, the name of the game the score and um, what system etc um, on there so at the moment guys there's two two games which I'm playing a lot of at the moment on the Mega Drive. So, the first one here, guys, is Truxton. And uh, as I say, if you have a look on my blog site, you'll see my current high score. So that's that one. So I'm not uh, not bothered if people look at it and think it's crap. But uh, you know, for me, that's my that's my current high score, and that's what I'm aiming to beat when I'm playing uh, playing through this game down here in the games room. So, absolutely superb shooter, guys. Um, wholeheartedly recommend this one probably my favorite shooter on uh, on the mega drive at the moment so that's uh, that's truxton and the last one guys is the legendary gynog so absolutely uh, fantastic game again 
uh, one that I'm massively into and uh, you know obviously if it's a game that I'm really into at the moment then I will put the high scores on uh, on the blog site as and when I uh, as and when I get them and uh, I'll obviously update them when I uh, when I break them as well so that's uh, that's the other one so those are the three games guys that um, that I'm playing through at the moment in detail a um, couple of things uh, moving on to the channel update side of things guys uh, I've just scribbled a few bits down here so uh, first of all I'm closing in now quickly on 2,000 subscribers uh, I think when I checked about half an hour ago I was on 1,965 so only 35 short of a crazy crazy amount of subscribers um, so what I'm looking to do for 2,000 subscribers guys is do a, an updated tour video um, I am in the process of changing the games room round again um, for those of you that have visited me before you'll know that the games room as you come in on the left hand side there's like a storage area so that probably takes up about 25% of, uh, of the games room and I've got the other 75% for all of my gaming. Uh, what I'm looking to do guys is to clear that um, storage area out and I'll have the full space of, um, of this big summer house for uh, dedicated towards my games room so I'm looking at doing that over the next couple of weeks so uh, you know hopefully when, uh, when I do the tour video you'll see a big difference compared to the last one that I did several months ago. So uh, that's that one. I'm also looking, I've just brought today the third of the tall bookcases behind me. So I've got about 30 games, uh, boxed Mega Drive games, which, uh, which I haven't got room to, to put on shelves at the moment. So I've just brought the shelf unit today. So that should be up towards the end of, uh, the end of today or tomorrow at the latest. Um, I also won an auction on, um, on eBay last night. Uh, for a 32-inch Sony Vega um, 100 hertz CRT TV. Uh, so down here at the moment, guys, I've got two 28-inch CRT TVs, just you know, bog standard cheapy ones, and uh, a 21-inch TV. So what I'm looking at doing um, is clearing those three CRT TVs out, and just having this big 32-inch CRT. Um, for you know get as many of my consoles connected up to it as possible um, and obviously that will give me a bit more space for for the games themselves and uh, and consoles rather than taking up space with big clunky CRT TVs so um, also looking um, to set up like a you know a little gaming area you know within this big area here so I'll have a nice uh, all being well if, if I can find one uh, that I can afford a nice two seater leather settee something like that and then I'll obviously have that uh, in the same little section down here as the uh, the 32 inch um, Sony Trinitron uh, TV so you know get a nice little uh, gaming area set up um, and then room for everything else that's, uh, that's down here gaming wise so that's going to take quite a bit, bit of work to set up as I say I've got to clear a lot of crap that we've got stored down uh, down here um, you know I've got to chuck stuff take stuff across to charity shops um, you know store stuff away somewhere else so once once that is done then uh, you know hopefully it'll uh, it'll look really good down here so I'm going to try and coincide that as I say guys with 2,000 subs um, and then as a 2,000 subscriber special I'll do a one or a two part uh, in in depth tour for uh, for you guys, so you can see the uh, all the changes that have gone on down here in my games room. So that's that, guys. Um, an update on the main front. Um, that's pretty much slowed down for the last week or so. I'm still doing little bits on the PC here and there, but uh, with my trip down to down to Birmingham and down to Spalding last week, and having my two eldest boys here. Over the weekend, I've not really had time to uh, to come down here and uh, and work on the PC. So that's um, that's still pretty much as it was um, from the last update. And um, I need to touch base with my dad to uh, to see how things are going with um, with the design of the cabinets, etc. So very much um, 
still work in progress guys but uh, obviously I'll do a dedicated update for uh, for MAME as and when I've got uh, you know a good amount of progress to uh, to share with you guys um, and then the final thing guys is really just to say that um, a while ago I think a couple of months ago I announced that I'd also be going for a full mega CD collection um, I'm not going to go for a full mega CD collection now so I've given it some thought I've got enough work to do as it is with um, with going for the full Mega Drive collection, um, and to be honest, you know there's a lot of titles in the uh, the Mega CD library which I'll probably never play, um, and you know for for me I'd just rather concentrate on the Mega Drive collection. Um, once that's complete, obviously I'll have an exercise to go through to get manuals that are missing so I can have them all complete. Um, and then uh, then I'm just literally going to concentrate on getting the best of the best across all the consoles that I've got. So I may well look to get a, a Nintendo and a Super Nintendo back into the collection. Um, and then start just going through the really good games for, for each of those systems. Just picking them up as and where I can. But uh, I don't think really I can afford the, the finances um, to get a full Mega CD collection as well as a Mega Drive collection so um, as I say the Mega CD collection is now um, shelved so I'll, I've probably got about only 20 games something like that but I will keep those um, and then obviously if there's a few gems on the Mega CD um, to pick up then I will pick those up as part of you know looking for the the good games across all systems uh, but I won't be going for the uh, for the full Mega CD collection so there we go, guys. I think that's everything that um, that I wanted to share with you. So um, you know, many thanks for uh, for everybody's continued support on the channel. And uh, as I say, I've got a lot lot of work to do now in sorting the games room out. And uh, hopefully, we can coincide with um, breaking two thousand subscribers and get a uh, a good in depth uh, couple of tour videos up for you guys, so you can see how it's all uh, how it's all coming together. So. As always, guys, thanks very much for watching, and I'll put up another video shortly. Bye for now.